It is such an honor for all of us to gather this evening to pay tribute to two tremendous, wonderful, amazing people, David Warren Klein and Shira Goldman, who have led us and ser served and led our congregation for these past two years. The two of you, David and Shira, uh, stepped into leadership of the shul at a critical time. It was one of, of, of great promise, but also of uh, anxiety, as we were still living in exile from our building in Temple Israel Center, Shabbos mornings on different lawns, Friday nights in the backyards, and uh, it was a complicated time to hold us together. And you stepped in at that time and, um, and, and, and made sure that we were, we were holding together and kept our focus on um, emerging from that into uh, to our new life here at the shul. And over these past two years, I will say of you, you took a crash course at the very beginning in fundraising and in financing and in construction and in, uh, in all manner of, of contracts that, that, that you had to be on top of in a minute, and you were. And along with that, you, uh, you just held our hands and kept us focused on the things that really were important to you. And now, and now, um, we are spending each and every day in our, in our new building and living our lives here. But we need to figure out protocols on how to do everything, and you're there to help us, uh, to walk us through, even as we manage uh, the, all the complicated pieces of, uh, of, of synagogue life and organized life. You have such a powerful work ethic. You, uh, I, know, I know you have real jobs and you got real lives, and yet every minute you're doing something for the shul. You see the big picture, and it's a wonderful big picture. At the same time, you, uh, you see all the micro details, and you're there with your sleeves rolled up and your hands in. I think about a Sunday morning just a few weeks ago when uh, the two of you were out there with a few other volunteers uh, putting out padding on our playground because we needed to make sure that kids would, uh, wouldn't get hurt playing there, enjoying themselves. And it could have been other people that would have done it, but they weren't quickly volunteering, so you were there. And you're there for that and picking up the garbage and, uh, and locking our doors so that the sanctuary doesn't get uh, filthy and, um, and, and, and at the same time helping us move through all the big things that we are living through to this day. You are doing it all with such care and such sensitivity and commitment and devotion. You're an amazing team together. It's fantastic that it seems at least that your friendship is still solid. I, I know it's true. And um, it's a testament to the two of you and your qualities that, you, uh, you've, that, that all that is happening was in such a deep uh, degree of partnership and devotion to one another and to our community. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of this entire congregation for all that you have done and all that you do. We're so excited to celebrate you this evening. Shira and David, it is such a pleasure to be with you tonight as we honor you. Um, and thinking back to the first time I formally met you in this role, um, I started in September, August, and I had just moved from Israel with my kids and my baby was just one or two months old. And I remember we set up a meeting on Zoom and I wanted to make sure the baby was well fed and that I wouldn't hear him cry and that the kids would be quiet. And I went into a quiet room and I was so nervous. And then I remember I saw both of your faces smiling at me and you opened the meeting just saying, we're so excited that you're here and we can't wait for you to come. And you guys are just gonna love it here. And you, maybe you took care of a few logistics just to get them out of the way, but your opening meeting was just to tell me that you were so excited to have me and that you knew that we were gonna love it here, and you were right. Um, and I remember just that first meeting, going, my nerves going from here to real, a sense of calm. And every time I see you guys on Shabbat, I know that things are taken care of, and my nerves also. I know that whatever I could be nervous about, I can talk to you about, and you'll bring me to a sense of calm. And I thank you for that warm welcome and the continued support always. Mazel tov to Shira and David and your families um, and to the entire shul. It really is such a bracha to be able to celebrate people who dedicate so much of their time. I, I th Sending you guys an email, we know that it's hard to imagine that I'm pretty sure you guys have other jobs, but I'm not sure if you really do because the care and time that you give to this community and the shul is really just something I can never imagine be a reality. So Mazaltov, it is great to be here with you and I'm excited to celebrate more.